In 1960, Pope John XXIII called for missionaries to spread the light of Christ to the far corners of the world. Responding to this call, Abbot Cuthbert MacDonald sent three men to establish a presence in Brazil. They were sent with a dual mission, to found a monastery and to provide pastoral care to the region. They settled in Mineiros, in west central Brazil. Seeking to be servants and workers, they named their priory after the man who taught Christ to work, Saint Joseph. When the monks arrived, the local economy was nearly non-existent. The monks opened the eyes of the local people to the untapped potential of their land, sharpening their farming skills and establishing cooperatives which led to an agricultural boom. As more monks were sent to assist with the farming effort and provide sacraments to the people, the harvest was great. Not only did the region begin to be a leader in typical Kansas crops, such as corn and soybeans, but Brazilian men began joining the ranks of the Kansas monks. In 1972, one from their ranks was called upon to serve as a bishop, Kansas native Father Matthias Schmidt, first serving as an auxiliary bishop of Jatai, and in 1976, Bishop of Rui Barbosa. Bishop Matthias died suddenly of a heart attack in 1992 while reciting the rosary. He was chosen to be a bishop because he had inserted himself into the culture there. He spoke flawless Portuguese without an accent and was given a very challenging diocese to lead. And in all of this, he was a fearless preacher and also a champion of the poor throughout. In 1975, inspired by an encounter with Mother Teresa, Father Kieran McInerney requested to serve at the Priory. Serving as a pastor, vicar general under Bishop Matthias, and later prior, Father Kieran spent 35 years dedicated to serving the poor in Brazil. His vision and work provided for the construction of the current Priory Church. In 1990, Having served as prior of the community, Father Herbert Hermas received a surprise letter from Pope John Paul II asking him to serve as bishop to the prelature of Cristalanja. He was born in shallow water, Kansas, and came to the abbey, and later was sent with the second wave of monks by Abbot Thomas to Brazil, and he served there for many, many years. He says, Bishop, this too is a very challenging area. Bishop Herbert's Episcopal motto was fiat, yes. And I don't believe there was any time in his life where he didn't say yes to what Christ was asking of him. The desire to do the will of God was very much a part of his ministry. And he oftentimes said yes, many times the peril of his own life as death threats were issued against him. So in his yes, he truly showed us how to follow Christ. He was in Brazil during some very difficult times for that country and that society and for the church. And, and, and some of the times the church was oppressed. And he said, well, what kind of bishop shall I be? And he, the, he listened very carefully to his people and their needs. His heart became Brazilian. And, and he was a voice for them. Oftentimes for the poor, they don't have a voice. And he spoke out for them on their behalf. He was a light. I think uh, he, he was inspired to serve and volunteer as a missionary because of his uh, commitment to his vocation. He was pretty fearless. He said, these people are like a flock without a shepherd. He wanted to uh, be with people that were poor, that needed, needed his preaching. I think he laid down his life for Christ because of his innate vocation. We knew that he had died where he wanted to be among his people. Today, the monks of this humble priory in West Central Brazil serve over 30,000 Catholics with the same missionary spirit that brought Roman monks to Bavaria Bavarian monks to Kansas, and Kansas monks to Brazil.